Welcome back everyone to Random Thoughts. We're jumping into another storybook brawl run and this is shortly after the patch and we actually have the opportunity to play as one of the new heroes. We're going to see how this turns out. It's entirely possible that this is going to go super poorly. We're going to take a risk on one and see if the shrink spell skip plan works. We obviously want to move into princes and princesses, which none of these are. But you can't always get what you want. We'll see if we... Oh, we lucked out because Wonder Waddle actually chose to do the same plan. I'm not sure this might actually be better to have two frontline things like this that can attack as opposed to only one that is merely for health. I think this is more likely to perform well. And we'll see if maybe before we level up if we can possibly find... Either Sherwood Shore Shots or um, Cinderella, something along those lines, because those are the early princesses and princes that we can find. Maybe the frogs. I'm not sure we made the right choice here. <laughs> In fact, we did not. I don't think it would have made much of a difference. It's a little unfortunate to take that loss. We did find, actually, a couple things we, that are useful here. This will work out significantly better for us, I think. Question is, do we do something like this? Yeah, I think so. I think that's better. And then hopefully we can get quick upgrades here, maybe find some extra copies of the, the prints. And then we can start piling on these upgrades. This is the first time that I'm running this. Obviously, the patch just dropped at least the time of this recording very recently, maybe only a few hours ago. So we'll have to see how this goes. I think the obvious priority is to play into the champion power, but I and I do like the royalty setup anyway. I've definitely liked it over the last few patches. It, it's been pretty solid. We also see the other new hero in Fallen Angel in the Blobby. It's going to be a while because I don't have the dust to pick up another one. It's going to be a little while. So we could try for Brave Princess, see if we can get this leveled. And we're going to take this. The reason being is I want to... We're actually going to do this. I think this is better. We're going to lock this because I want to pick up Romeo. If we're going to be on this plan, we definitely want to try and find Romeo and Juliet. So obviously we got to take the first half. We're actually up against the new, the other new hero in Fallen Angels. So this one's a little weird. We'll see which half they elected to build into early on. Unfortunately, we didn't get the spell this time. We will get one. Like, we can roll for free next turn if we want. They got their polywoggle. So, they, a lot of things have bigger butts here because of the... Uh, <clears throat> because of Fallen Angel. Good news is, is... Nope. Oh, yes, we will get another trigger. Sweet. I thought we weren't going to get it for a second. Um, pick up our Romeo. It's probably just going to replace this. Not super excited about these. We do find a sure shot, which I think we're going to pick up in the hopes that we'll find another one. Well, we really need two more, but... I think everybody knows where I was going with that. We have a bunch of mediocre attack things. We just really need this to get upgraded. If this gets upgraded, we're kind of off to the races, I think. Because then everything's going to jump up. Including the sure shot. I mean, you know, we could even possibly run that. We'll have to see how this goes. So 
So we're up against Gwen. Alright, you should be able to get a trigger. Yep. Good. So you've now leveled up. We're going to draw, but we will get two extra gold because we ate their pigs. And we're going to get an item. Looking okay so far. Uh, boy. We're not planning on being on evil. I don't think we're really going to get slays. We'll, we'll take Sting. Sting works. And that makes this princess much more palatable. Um, do we want Wish Upon a Star? It seems good, but level 4 is where a lot of our stuff is. Now, Prince Arthur also got changed, so he's actually on level 3 now. Pick up the other Romeo. It's bigger than the Cinderella, so we can put her in the back. And by back, I mean into our hand here. So we do have the opportunity to possibly get some extra XP. I felt we could sneak it in. It might be a little greedy. Sometimes you gotta be greedy, I guess. We're up against Merlin, who's right now at the top of the leaderboards, even above us. And Merlin is generally a very dangerous opponent anyway. That is unfortunate, but we trade. We get a two for one. So far, so good. Except Womp Womp. And now we lose to their spell thing. Unfortunate. So we whiff on the extra experience, but it, it is what it is. Um, a 3-3 three, three adventurer is kind of tempting. It's kind of tempting. I don't know that it's really what we need. Oh yeah, the hippocampus also got changed. Forgot about that. We do need to cast some damn spells. Okay, so the baby bugbear is also available here. That's interesting. There's an Arthur. Uh, do we sell something and get Arthur? I think we do. I think that's okay. It doesn't seem great. I want to cast Witch's Brew. I'm hoping that the bugbear just brings us some good fortune and we, uh are able to ramp into something. Maybe it would have been better off casting the Cinderella, or uh, buffing the Cinderella, or using the spell to complete Cinderella's quest, is really what I'm trying to say. Can't get that out. Got a two-for-one there. This will end up being even. Those trade. Yeah, we're okay. We're in pretty good shape. I guess this is fine. We can try and find the upgrade. Man, we just can't find things that we're looking for. Nutcracker also got buffed. I don't know if it's worth it here, but we can certainly try. We're once again missing out on spells. So we're even farther away from this. It's kind of poor planning. We had the opportunity to take a few different spells. We could sell some stuff. Obviously, I don't want to get rid of the Romeos. Um, Mim could be sold. And I guess this prince... Because we're again relying on the bugbear to hopefully just 
give us something obscene and say, okay, well, we'll switch gears. As much as I like playing royalty, it still can be very challenging in the late game unless you find the good boy setup or something along those lines. We're not in, like, fantastic shape right now. We're not crushing it, I don't think. This is a very scary lineup. Wow. We just got rocked. None of that went well for us. Treants are something worth going into. This will complete our quest. Um, I don't care about any of these. Whatever, this one. It's too late, I think, to try it. Well, maybe the Cinderella's an 8-8. Eight, eight. I was going to say it's too late to try and upgrade. Or uh, get the Arthur stacks on it, but... There's a Julia. I'm just not a huge fan of, of Nutcracker even now. Maybe being an 814, it's fine. I mean, realistically, one of these is probably better than Arthur. We might want to take out the Bugbear, but at this point, we kind of need it if we're going to make this transition into Treants. We'll have to see. Maybe we should have just held to our guns and stayed and forced royalty. Because that Nutcracker will never complete its quest now. Like, it's just not going to happen. That's double vulture back there, which is a little scary. Especially with a baby bear there. Yeah, I don't think we have enough damage to actually get through this. The, uh, the vultures are too big. So we take minimal damage, but, you know, we didn't get a W. So do we buy these? Like, is that worth it? We can re-roll for two level sixes here. I think we're going to re-roll. Oh no, this is Shrink Spell. Uh, I wasn't thinking. Was not thinking. Um... I hate having to do that now. Um, I hate Lancelot too. And Lancelot is just not very good. Yeah, that was a big mistake. That whole sequence was really bad. Oh man, that was awful. Not even sure why we're locking for this. I mean, I know why, but I don't know that it's worth it. <clears throat> that is really bad. And that's a very large and growing Princess White, which also got changed in this patch. Oh no. I think this is another L. I don't see how we... Yeah, we can't win this. That much was obvious. Long time. And we're suddenly at three. Big sigh.
We're up against Merlin, so I would imagine this is going to be an early exit. Which is supremely disappointing. Ugh. I don't actually remember what Merlin had. Maybe we should have kept the bugbear in there. We'd have to sell some, like, really good stuff. Problem is, this means it essentially costs four, because we're gonna have to re-roll. I don't think we survived through this anyway, so I'm not sure that it matters, but, you know. I think that's better currently, because we'll get two Juliets. Hopefully, anyway. Maybe it should have been that the whole time. Arthur sometimes feels like a trap. Alright, we took out their big range guy. That's helpful. We don't quite get the two for one there. We are able to soften some things up. Okay, we may not be dead? Question mark? That didn't help, but it's better on that than on one of these. Wow. Okay. We're not dead. I'm not dead yet. Take our upgrade. Um, I don't know. Dramungandar, or Dramungan doesn't really help here. All that much. This would make this thing bigger. That isn't really what we need here. 7-7 Seven -seven Adventure is interesting, but obviously we don't need the experience at this stage in the game. Hercules is on theme. At the very least. Might be able to get an upgrade. Again, maybe the Court Wizard or the Juliet would be better than the Arthur at this stage. Not really sure. We're up against Wonder Waddle, who, if I recall, had something relatively ridiculous. We'll have to see. Yeah, they had a relatively mean sleigh set up here. <clears throat> oh yeah, and they also had sarcophagus too. That's, oh no, we needed that to live. We might be okay. We should draw here. No, we're gonna win. I thought the sarcophagus might take it out, but not enough damage. Nice. And an upgraded Juliet. I will take it. Singing sword? Singing sword. I was tempted by that upgrade momentarily, but... Uh, so this will get, what, like, plus six, plus six? That's not worth it. Not really worth it. We'll take the good spell. And hope that we can squeak by another turn. So I thought we were going to transition out, but maybe we should have just forced it from the beginning and said, you know what, it's the new, new hero, we'll just try it, see how it goes. Unfortunately, the Arthur is still kind of a letdown here. Like, maybe this is better? It's plus six, plus six. Probably get it. I feel like we might as well leave him in at this stage. <clears throat> We're kind of committed to it. I mean, not really. 
Court Wizard's probably better. I feel like it is. I'm making a mistake here. What does Gwen have? A good boy setup. And Cupid. Cupid is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Fortunately, our Hercules goes down, so no extra damage with Herc. Alright, you targeted Arthur, which is good. Bad news is, is that that's going to get activated again, and it has almost 100 health. Whew. Lucked out there, and we eliminated Gwen. Okay. If Fates got eliminated... Yep, we top forward. First try with the new hero. Feels good. Alright, let's see. Can we make a deeper run? We did find a good boy. What does good boy replace them? Twenty six attack. I feel like we can't pass good boy. It's just too good. Um, <clears throat> like, is it this? You have 42, you're going to end up with 37, so it's technically worse, but all of the other ones are getting buffed in the process, so maybe it's not that much worse. I'm not sure what we upgrade. I'm locking for the knighthood. I think we upgrade the good boy. <clears throat> I think that's our best option. We're going to likely get a level 6 treasure from Hercules, assuming, of course, that we live, but that might be asking a lot here. Oh, yeah. This is not good. Oh, no. Oof. I mean, we're getting some free hits there, but those things back there are ranged. We do trade evenly, though, so we're staying alive. We're staying alive. Um, I think we're doing round table, right? You're in the book of heroes. Upgrade the good boy. Uh, do 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 do. It still doesn't feel fantastic, the setup we have, but we're going to have to accept it, I guess. Like, do we do something like that? I guess it's better just to leave it in the back. I don't know what, whether that positioning matters realistically or not. It'd be nice to get these guys upgraded, but that seems to be a while away. So we're up against Geppetto, who's top of the leaderboard at the moment. I don't know what Geppetto was running. I really don't remember. I mean, there's a lot of ways that this could go sideways. I mean, I guess it already has. They also have a good boy set up. With Echo Wood, though. Oof. Oh, man, we're toast. That Echo Wood's going to be ridiculous. There's no way we can compete against it. Like, look at that. It's a 300, 400-something health Echo Wood. I mean, to be fair, our team is pretty big, too, but... Oh, we cut it down to size. Huh. Wow. I'll take it. I will take it. Uh, I don't care about that. We certainly don't want to swap heroes. <coughs> Do we give something 10 health? You could give, like, this or Good Boy 10 health, 
Giving good boy 10 health would be kind of cool. The problem is that does good boy always die? And therefore giving us the buff? I'm not sure. I guess we'll get the other Arthur. It, it, if nothing else, it'll give us another stack if we can get the upgrade. It's funny that we haven't found any uh, Sherwood Shore shots. I'm tempted to put the Arthur in just to get some more stacking buffs. Like that. Mostly because we're up against the eliminated player. This was the Wonder Waddle, if I recall correctly. But I don't remember what they were running. Oh yeah, the sleigh. This is the weird thing when uh, Good Boy lives through everything. And then we don't have the ridiculous uh, Court Wizard. I mean, we're still fine, it's just a little weird. Hey, we beat the guy who was already beaten. Alright, so they both lived. We're up against Fallen Angel. Show me good spells or upgrades. Not really what we we're looking for. I mean, we could cast Potion of Heroism, but I don't care that much. That would have been good. So we'll lock for this, because if we win this, then we'll be up against Geppetto, and we could definitely use this if it lands on, like, the Echo Wood. I think we 100% win. <clears throat> so we do need the good boy to go down. So maybe buffing his health wasn't great. Because if we can get this online with an enormous attack like we had before, then we're in great shape. If we can't, like we just had against the eliminated player, we're kind of in trouble. Alright, how's this going to work? That is an enormous... Ashwood Elm. That's a lot of enormous things. Oh boy. Maybe we went first the first time and that's why we had some good fortune here. Because this is not looking great. Oh, that's really bad. Damn. Oh, that could have gone slightly differently, and we might have been able to take it down. But unfortunately, don't quite do it. So we finish in third with our very first try with this particular hero. Uh, definitely made some mistakes in this build, but it was fun. I like the way this plays. I, I definitely think it helps out the royalty build, which was having difficulty in the late game. We actually cared about possibly finding lower things just simply so we could get the stacking buffs. Does, does the buff matter that much? Probably not, especially late in the game, but it does give you something instead of late game. It's okay. I don't actually have anything to go for with this build, but definitely a lot of fun, but that'll do it for this time. So as always, everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and black lives matter.